Hey friends, so I just wanted to talk on a well-known yeast called Candida albicans. And so often um, we can get yeast overgrowth or Candida overgrowth, and it's also known as candidiasis. So I just think that so many people have Candida overgrowth um, and they don't even know it. So I just wanted to do a quick fly over on candida albicans um, with some symptoms and some protocols um, and just hopefully this is just a little helpful for you guys. So we'll get right into it. So first, what is candida albicans? Candida albicans is a yeast that belongs to the fungi family. This type of yeast is indeed naturally found in small amounts in the digestive tract and plays a very important role in digestion. So we have this symbiotic relationship with candida and this organism helps produce our B and K vitamins. However, if this harmless yeast becomes imbalanced, meaning overgrown, it will lead to chronic illness. And here picture is candida under the microscope, if you've ever seen it. So what are some common symptoms of candida overgrowth? Um, a big one is chronic fatigue and loss of energy. Also um, bloating is a big one and cramping. A big red flag is a vaginal yeast infection. Um, depression and irritability are also related to yeast overgrowth. And I'm sure a lot of people never correlate that with um, candida overgrowth, but it definitely can be a cause um, from candida overgrowth. We have a strong gut-brain connection, so they're constantly communicating. So for every one message that our brain is sending down to our gut, our gut is sending nine more messages back up to our brain. So my point for candida overgrowth is that sugar is candida's Food. So if you are one that craves sugar and you have to have it every single day and you just have that craving, there is a good chance that you have candida overgrowth because these organisms are signaling to your brain, feed me. That's their food. So they're saying, feed me. I need the sugar. Give me the sugar. So that is a good indication that you may have candida overgrowth if you can't lay off the sugar. So some possible causes, um, an impaired immune system or a weakened or overworked um, adrenal glands. And a big one obviously is a poor diet. You're just consuming lots of refined sugar, white flour, high amounts of dairy and additives and preservatives, food dyes, and then the added yeast that's in foods and moldy foods. And also nutrient deficiencies can lead to candida overgrowth and a big, big, big one is antibiotics. Um, obviously, the antibiotics are going to wipe out all of your gut, but your good gut bugs, and leave you with the bad ones, and allowing the candida to overgrow. Um, also, decreased digestive secretions are a possible cause, and also low hydrochloric acid production, which is your stomach acid. So how do you know if you have yeast overgrowth? Well, you can get with your healthcare provider and you can test for candida by using a comprehensive stool analysis, or you can even um, test antibody and antigen levels of candida, or you can do a basic candida overgrowth questionnaire. And this is my favorite tool with my clients. I like to do the questionnaire. It's very thorough and um, very effective. So it's obvious when they go through all the questions and they have a high score and it's evident that they have the candida overgrowth. And then so I'll work with them for a month or two or sometimes three. And then they'll revisit the questionnaire and see that all of their symptoms are better. So such a simple yet effective tool that you can also use. Some holistic protocols Obviously, you're going to want to eliminate antibiotic use. Um, nowadays, antibiotics are just overly prescribed and 
nine out of 10 times they are unnecessary. So that's just a rough one. Everyone's um, gut is just getting nuked with these antibiotics. And there's tons of um, herbal antibiotics that are so powerful and effective that um, can always be put to use before prescription antibiotics. Um, you, you're gonna wanna take a good quality probiotic and consume a diet rich in vegetables and eat some sauerkraut and lots of garlic. You're gonna wanna eliminate the yeasted foods and eliminate the sugar and the wheat and the dairy and the high sugar fruits and as well as alcohol and peanuts. And Consider um, adding some vitamin C, vitamin A, a good vitamin B complex, zinc, and a good digestive enzyme to your daily routine. And obviously you're gonna wanna reduce your stress and get enough sleep. So there's tons of herbs that can help kill the yeast overgrowth. And at the top of the list would be oregano. And then there's even essential oils that you can use to help fight the yeast overgrowth. And probably at the top of my list would be the eucalyptus essential oil, um, the pine essential oil, and peppermint. So those are also really good as well. So if you have um, a vaginal yeast infection, there's quite a few things you can also do. So for direct application, you can get some diluted organic apple cider vinegar. Um, you can also use unsweetened yogurt alone um, topically, or you can add slippery elm into that unsweetened yogurt. Um, but I would have to say that my top topical application would be organic unrefined coconut oil. I have just found that it works very, very good. You just apply it a few times throughout the day and it takes care of it pretty quickly. So that would probably be my first go-to. Um, there's also a douche you can do, but um, the direct applications that I mentioned above, they always work very, very well. So those are gonna be your, your first go-tos. So in conclusion, there's many natural protocols that can help support and overcome candidiasis. And it is a daily lifestyle medicine, guys. A daily lifestyle medicine that can help overcome and prevent yeast overgrowth as well as many other ailments. So um, this was just a quick, quick flyover. So I hope it was helpful. Just went over real quick some symptoms and what you can do. And of course, you always just wanna consult with your healthcare provider. And if you don't have one, you can just head over to my website and just schedule a free 15 minute consultation. But I hope this was helpful and I hope it just made you more aware. Maybe you have some of those symptoms and you need to dig deeper. Um, but that's it. That's a wrap on Candida alicanis. Thanks. Love you guys. We'll talk to you soon.